Clyde and Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to be making a uh, um, soap that's a little creative in terms of the title. I'm calling it PAL because it's um, a beer soap, and I use a little Pilsner, and I've got some anise added to the beer scent that I got, and some lime, and so P A and L spells PAL for lack of a better name for the soap. Um, I'll have another color tutorial show you how I get those colors and I use the colors of the scents that I'm going to be using and I'm also going to do a quick demo of how I use the beer and the soap. I had to make the ice cubes and everything so uh, I told my pals at um, Soaping 101 Facebook group beer is the ingredient we're talking about right now and it's been a while since I made this so I'm um, making it for a purpose I'll talk about why I'm making a beer soap in particular right now in my color tutorial. So I already have some colors on my paper here and I just want to show you how I got my um, oxide color. I mixed um, some red, black, orange and green to get sort of this color and it's, uh, I'm going to still mix a little bit more because it's not um, as rusty as I'd like it. There I added too much of the darker color but it's kind of good that this is happening so that you can see how I actually mixed it got some orange on my brush now so um, this is basically the oxide red that I'm getting and it's too red so if I add a little bit of green it'll take some of the red away and there it's a little darker now I need a little bit more red take some playing around with and then I get this sort of oxide red, just kind of earthy red. And um, so, you know, this is a um, study hall in uh, Facebook that I belong to that talks about soap. And the talk right now is the ingredient of beer. And since I'm going to be participating in uh, Arts and Craft Beer um, Festival in San Diego, and this will be my third year there. I thought I'd sell soap that has beer in it. Makes sense. Um, I'm also going to have a, um, in the soap, I've um, found a beer fragrance, but the colors of beer are not um, sort of the bright colors that I want in my soap. But I did add some um, lime fragrance to this, which gave me the excuse to add some green. So I was taking um, the scent of the soap, always gives me the idea for the colors of the soap. And I'm also going to have um, some gold and yellow in the soap. Because I don't have metallic paint, so i got to imply that with the use of yellow and maybe a little bit of orange to get a little goldy color. And then lastly, like I was really happy with the little bit of black that I added to my last soap. So this is really going to be my color scheme and just use a little bit of black. So what's going on as far as the color wheel is um, starting off with um, complementary colors again. Here's this sort of rusty uh, red and the complementary color across from that would be green. That's directly across, but we're going to sway a little bit over here into what looks like a lime green. Still basically a complementary color scheme. And then I'm going to veer off in this direction for a little bit of yellow. And I'm also going to add a little bit of gold mica swirl to the top of the soap. And then of course the black which is a neutral that I'm adding just to add a little definition to this swirls. So we'll see how that works out in the soap. I, I hope it does. Still trying to figure out what will be the major color in this. Um, and I think it's going to be the rust, the rusty red color, the oxide. Um, I have some extra titanium dioxide um, on hand to lighten that up because I don't really want a really dark soap. So um, I'll be playing around with that right before your very eyes in this video. So um, stay tuned. Okay, so in my container here I have my frozen beer. It's a Pilsner. I'm just going to add a little bit 
of light a time. And I think I'm going to also, as soon as I get all the lye integrated, I'm going to fill my sink with some cold water to keep it from overheating. Right now it has a sort of caramel type of uh, scent to it. I'm going to strain my um, beer and lye because it's a little thick and just want to make sure that there's nothing, um, no particles or lye granules in there that might be a bad thing. So it's also good to be careful. Right now it smells really good, like, like I said, a kind of caramel. So it didn't get a burnt smell at all because it was frozen. It's my famous bachelor that got bent when it was an infant and it works well because I have a flat surface to push down on when I work with my lye. It looks pretty good. Let's get that blended. I'm soaking at about 80 degrees. I usually soap at 100. I'm counting on the sugars to heat it up a bit, so I'm trying to make an effort to keep it cooler. Okay, let's get the colors going. Got some sunshine pouring in today too. Let me get the fragrance in there. And it's still pretty liquid, so that's good. I decided to add some titanium dioxide to the red oxide so that it's not really dark. That's going to be my major color. My green to represent the line. A little of that. And just a very little bit of black. I want more red. I'm actually going to add this red to my big pot. It's rising a bit too, but I think I can get that to behave. That's a nice color. I wanted colors that I could find in beer. And the top is going to have a golden mica swirl to it, which is another quality to beer. It's golden color. That's looking nice. Rinse that off because I don't want my red and green to mix. It's a nice color. And my black. I think I'm going to opt to do um, an in the pot swirl. I want a real fluid look because of the nature of beer. about a third of that nice red color in there. Followed by the black. Lime green. the rest of this in there. If I have uh, black in my um, color scheme I generally get the black on before the last color, and I like the last color to be the lightest of the colors. 
so the top will be kind of light that's just me I can just do I'm not gonna have a peaked top for this just do some big swirls first break up those clumps and then here's my gold mica with some of my batch oils I'll just drizzle that on top and the oil gets reabsorbed into the soap so you don't have a bunch of oil as you would think you would get writing on the top okay. continue my swirling it just gives it a nice rich look just a random swirl there I like that so um, there is my pal soap again for the Pilsner the anise scent and the uh, lime it smells great and I can't wait to cut into this and show it to you uh, thanks for watching this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap and uh, stick around for the cutting all right let's cut this I like how this um, reddish color um, came about after the saponification it lightened and I did lighten it up so that it would be more compatible with the other colors in there and there's that color changing again I get a better red out of it after it sets up and this is um, the scent is great it's a uh, it's a beer soap with the Pilsner anise and lime that's where it gets its name so it'll be less brown and more of that sort of pinky color once it sets up and you remember I did a, a gold mica swirl on top so it has that metallic sheen to it it's cutting really nicely too since it is a a beer soap and I thought about the liquidity of beer I wanted it to have these really fine swirls so it was nice that my um, soap was really cooperative in staying liquid for a while to get that kind of swirl that has a lot of little swirls I have another loaf of soap waiting to be cut. Also, I'm going to be making some more soap today. Some paintings I've been working on, so I've been pretty busy. And I've got one more cut to go. One of the color lessons in the tutorial was um, a use of black. And there's many ways you can use black, but in this case, um, I'm using just a little bit of black to um, just add some definition to the design. And let's see if I can bring back. My first one is already starting to t change more to that pink color there's another one and this has been the cutting of pal my pilsner anise and lime soap and i hope you enjoy this and i'll be back for another video real soon so thanks for watching this is Clyde at vibrant soap